Good afternoon. Hello. Happy Monday. Welcome back to the vlog. It is just after 1230. I wanted to get up around 12. I was a little bit late. So I got up like 15 minutes ago, but my bed is made. Got myself a breakfast drink. And what we're doing now, normally I get ready for stream because I stream today at like 430. I'm starting to get ready now because I want to film um, a demo that I got access to. So that's what we're doing. Sometimes it feels like we're so far away. And I also need to edit my dadish because I recorded it last night, but I end up streaming until almost 4 a.m. And so I didn't want to edit it last night because I figured I should try to get some sleep, which I think was a good call. But oh my goodness. So we played Fall Guys last night and there there have been like three achievements that I've been trying to get to finish out my achievements on Steam. One was coming first after performing like an emote at um, the the finish line, like before you cross. And I got that the other day. Um, <laughs> Wesley and I were playing with the Littles and he was there waiting for me. I'm like, please wait, let me emote and then cross the line. And then to like emote it, but then someone's coming like, oh my god, run! And then like, so I crossed. And I was like, shoot, I didn't get it. But I did get it because I managed to get enough of an emote, which was nice. Another one was just equip rare or um, epic stuff, which I had all of it, I just need to equip it. Um, and then the last one, which we've been working on since like New Year's Eve, is get five crowns in a row. New Year's Eve, we got so close. We got to four, um, we got three crowns consistently and kept losing um, in the fourth round um, of that. But managed to get carried a little bit um, yesterday and I'm not even sad about it and it was good so now all my achievements are done for Fall Guys which feels nice I rate it out to someone who was fun and um, yeah so anyways today plan is makeup record Echoes of Plum Grove demo play hopefully I, it's four days so I think I can get through it I think I'm gonna maybe record them as like a day each we'll see um, and then I stream later, I gotta like cook food. I don't know, I have like some stuff on my list for today, but I worry. I also at one need to promote a video on my Twitter that is going live for a demo called, I've talked about it, the Kama Eru, a frog refuge because the embargo lifted today. So that's exciting. Um, but anyways, I need to start, I got my breakfast drink. I need to get a list going, I think, and then get my makeup done, so. Hopefully I can start recording by like 1.30 at the latest. You know, sometimes the multitasking that like I have to do to get stuff done is freaking wild. Um, Cause I like, I just don't, I just don't have time. So basically I got Twitter open here cause I'm about to post on Twitter. I've got TikTok open on my phone because I need to post my dadish from last night. I've got my daily dadish for my YouTube going up. And we're drinking this. It's like, I just, I looked at myself, I was like, really girl, really? Oh, and I guess I'm vlogging too. Um, so that's some more multitasking. But anyways, I got third on Daily Dadish for today, which is pretty good. Um, last part of this level was a pain. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I've got my list done. I've got half of my stuff done. I think as soon as I finish posting this and doing, oh yeah, I gotta do a thumbnail, and doing my thumbnail, I'm going to get my tweet ready to go because that should be about time. Um, and then it'll be makeup time. So yeah, I should be able to start recording around 1.30. Also my hair, like I don't know what the heck is up with my hair. It is so soft right now. Which shouldn't be something that I'm complaining about, right? But, like, I can't do anything with it because it's just, like, so smooth. It's like, hi. Hi. Let me let me just smooth over everywhere. And, like, it's great. Like, it, it looks pretty decent, all things considered. I haven't done anything with it. Um, but I tried to braid it after my shower, and it just... It was just like, whoop! And it would not stay together. Anyways, I need to probably shut up and just do the stuff. Oops, that's not my tag. I tag everything on TikTok with Keeper CGC just so I can like see how many views I have on my videos. Um, 
overall. Not quite all because I didn't start doing it right away. Um, but I put Keeper CGX. I'm like, well, that's not me. Anyways, okay, finish doing this for you, page. Bam. I also start doing like, here's my thumbnail. I would do that, but now I add this so that people can see text and then they might go, oh wow, I want to watch Daily Dadish something rather if they go to my channel. Oops, day. The word day is important. <laughs> Done. All right. That is posted, and now to continue on and finish this. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Alrighty. So it is just after 1:30, and I am ready, just about, um, to start recording. I'm just finishing watching a YouTube video. I'm gonna get my lights on and all that jazz. Ooh. Um, I'll probably change the colors, um, and then. We're gonna record, I'm thinking, so the demo consists of four days, so I'm thinking maybe we do like two and two. My skills of being able to do that. I was trying to make a W yesterday. I can't, I can do this. Um, and then after that, probably like editing and, oh, stream journal, that's probably the most important thing. We'll do that and then we'll go from there. But yeah, I'm excited to play this game because I backed it on Kickstarter. Um, and so it's so great that I get to play a demo. Alrighty, I just finished recording. I did two part episode thing, two part series, I don't even know, two videos for Echoes um, of Plum Grove because it was about an hour for two days and then it was like 50 minutes for the other two days. Um, I enjoyed it, there were some issues for sure, like specifically using the controller to select things was really difficult, um, like things like the bed that you need to sleep in, so it's kind of like switching back and forth between the mouse and the controller to just kind of see, but then I also had issues with the keyboard. Um, there were a couple issues where I was like walking through my farm and I just came across a wall which was specifically a problem when I was getting exhausted and I was like how am I supposed to get back to my house? Um, farming pretty standard if you play a farming game easy to pick up um, But I'm really excited about the social thing like you can actually insult people I never did because I'm a person who would feel bad. I meant to insult someone before the day was over, but I forgot but um, Yeah, lots of fun So I've done that. I'm gonna cross a few things off my list now. I think we'll have a quick little snack and then I'm going to export my VOD from last night, which might be a couple because my stream did drop a few times. And then I'm gonna do my stream journal. So that's where we're at. Having a productive day. I'm glad I got that recording done. It's on my list to edit tomorrow. I got a couple things to edit tomorrow. Technically, like, I'm good for my Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> Was I just using that to scratch my face? Yeah. I'm good for my Tuesday, Thursday content through March, and it's only the end of January right now. Um, but my demos, because I'm posting like one to two a week, uh, and when I do my game playthroughs, I record it all at the same time, and then once I edit it, and I edit it usually all at the same time, that's good. It's like three videos, whatever, maybe more. Whereas with the demos, because each demo is just one, it's a one and done, um, so I have to kind of keep up on that editing a bit more. I have one coming up this weekend. I think I'm going to do Echoes of Plum Grove maybe Sunday, Monday. Um, because it's two parts, and then, yeah, just lots of stuff, but anyways, I love it, I enjoy it, again, I can't even just, I can't even talk about how good playing these games and whatnot has been for me, like, it makes me feel so happy, and that's huge, um, especially in, like, a dumpster file, fire of a world right now, and also with, like, how I've been feeling lately with, like, just being sad girl hours, because, you know, this is gonna be a year of change for me. And that's hard. And also, like, I mentioned a little bit in the last vlog, but, like, I've had some insecurities, and, like, I don't want to get into it today. I will at some point, but, like, I have gained weight because I sit here a lot, and this is all I do. Um, and that's not ideal. And I drink a few too many of these a day because, again, I'm just sitting here, and I'm like, oh, I need to snack because I'm bored or this and that and this and that. So those are things I need to work on. I need to work on moving my body. I need to work on being less stationary, which is really hard. I would love to get at some point like a standing desk and like maybe like a, a treadmill, one of those like uh, desk treadmills. Wesley has one, so once I move down there, that's great, but like maybe like a standing desk at some point. But anyways, that's where, what we're doing. Time to do things, I guess. Time to do more things, it, it just never ends. But snack also, I want a snack. I thought I turned off these lights. Anyways, most of my computer work is done. It's about four. I'm gonna tidy my room now. It's not that bad. There's just some garbage. Maybe kind of 
this is bad. I have it on my list. So like I think I mentioned in the last vlog, I've I have like big projects that I want to work on before I move. God, that's like wow. I know I have like months, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, before I move and all that stuff. And so I keep like putting them on a list and then like my closet clean out was one of them. It broke, so then I had to do it. Um cleaning my tower monitor was another. Um my computer was acting up, so I was like better do it. Um so I'm just accidentally crossing everything off. So but I'm gonna tidy my room now and then maybe I will I have in here, I think I talked about, it, I have a survival backpack that I like, a, a like survival kit that I made like many years ago. It's probably useless. So I kind of want to go through there, get rid of that, and then move one of my totes of fabric into my closet. That's the plan. I don't know if that's the plan for the day. It is on the list here, so we'll see. But first I want to just tidy up, get the garbage and cardboard dealt with, and then I could edit, but I'm thinking maybe then I should like move my body because like... I gotta, I should like stretch or s do something, you know, just something. I did it first time of the year. I just moved my body a little bit. I lifted some weights and, and whatnot. I have like those like little slider pads that you can put on the ground. My arms are shaking. I did like four reps of 25 each with five pound, like I have a five pound bar with my arms. Oh, and then I did like, you know that thing where you have like a kettlebell and you go down and like you lift your leg up at the same time, whatever the heck that is called. I did that with a 10 pound weight but my arms are like zzzz. so that's gonna be fun um I can already feel it uh, so we're gonna try to go hard onto the water also I had to take some allergy medicine because I was like and now I'm like Whoa. so we're in a great shape my body's falling apart I'm gonna pass out um but I'm proud of myself because it has been a long time since I've done anything and I am talking about it this time one of the things I've worked out in the past and just not mentioned a word of it to anyone or anything or whatnot because I'm like, <sighs> I guess we're getting into this because I have gained that weight and I feel vulnerable and uh, unse insecure about it. Um, I'm like, I don't want people to see me working out because then they'll be like, mm hmm, or whatever, something like that. I don't know, in my head for sure. So, um, I've done it, but I just haven't talked about it. So, I figure if I talk about it, maybe they'll do it more. So, feeling good I'm feeling shaky like across here my arms my butt um, and tomorrow will hurt more but that's okay <laughs> I do want to point out that I did in fact do some stretching post the lifting of the weights and we have been drinking water but oh my god everything is shaking oh I'm so out of shape anyways um, I just filled out a postcard that I had to fill out for a redeem on stream and I'm gonna go wash this and start cooking dinner it's like 10 after 5 but um I gotta cook like a bunch of chicken so yeah alrighty I am slightly less sore which is nice um again I know that tomorrow will be bad and the next day will be worse but that's fine I've still been drinking a lot of water I'm almost done this I had dinner got all my socials ready to go to blast once I go live and I've got like 20 minutes before I have to hit the live button and I'm changed in this cute shirt that I forgot I owned. It's, I don't like, the, my biggest issue about this shirt is these lines, like I feel like they're supposed to go under your boobs but they clearly do not size up for someone who actually has a chest when it comes to um, shirts because ain't, ain't, ain't no way. Anyways, I'm excited, I just need to clear my agenda and stuff off my desk. The only thing I didn't do is I went to work on some TikTok scripts for like short term, short term, short form vertical content for like stuff that I've played through and just chat about the games, but we'll get there. Alrighty, it is 1.30 in the morning. I finished stream like an hour ago because I was almost done. Well, I was like 20 stars away from Bowser in the game and so I was like, oh, I'm gonna stop now because I'm gonna play it next week. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> you know, as earlier I was talking about being vulnerable, you might be able to tell I was just crying, literally. I'm just, it's, uh, I'm just a mess, oftentimes now. It's this whole, like, it's not the long distance relationship, per se. It's the fact that Wesley was just here, and he was only here, all said and done, he was, like, here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for full days. We had to drop him off pretty early Saturday. We picked him up, like, midday on Monday, so, like... We had time together, but it wasn't a ton, and the last time we saw each other was when I was down there in September last year, and it was for, like, three weeks, and I think we got, like, really spoiled for that, because, you know, um, so, yeah, so, anyway, so, like, we're both having a hard 
hard time. Um, and it sucks. <laughs> Let me tell you, it sucks. And so that's been a fun thing to deal with and go through on top of just life. Life is just hard right now. And like for me, as how I love routine and yet I'm sitting in this nebulous limbo right now of I can't change anything in my life currently like say I want to get a new job doesn't make sense if I want it to move out can't financially in this economy but like it doesn't make sense like I'm just I'm here this is what I can do I can, I can just go about my daily life, do my thing. And like, obviously there's like joys and streaming and stuff because that is something I can control. And whatever I do to that, I get to keep when I move, but anything else I can't, right? Um, and so I'm in this nebulous area where I can't move forward. Obviously with streaming and stuff I can, but like in general, I can't move forward. I can't make change and I'm just sitting here waiting and I hate waiting. And the last time I had a big waiting period like this was 2012 ish 2013 I applied to teach English in Japan on the jet program I didn't tell anyone in my life about it um, but I was like I need change I'm stagnant I need change and in April after the application I was accepted as an alternate to the jet program which meant that if enough people dropped out or if they need more teachers or whatever I could potentially be called any time from that point until December. Do you know how like messed up that is to like think like at any chance you may have to uproot your life in two weeks and just go? Um, and that was really hard and I didn't apply to teach the next year even though I likely would have got in because it was just so mentally and emotionally draining. And now, so now I'm doing this and I, I knew it would be hard and it is. <laughs> And I thought it'd be easier having someone to go through it with, but like it just, it just makes it suck twice as hard because I'm hurting and sad and whatever, and he's hurting and sad and like, so I'm like sad about me and I'm sad about him and it's just, it sucks. So I just, once we get a date or even like some movement or something, I know I will start to feel better um, because then I have something tangible to look forward to. But right now in this nebulous limbo, it just sucks and I and I could probably say it sucks more um probably could say it less but yeah so that's where we're at this is yes I don't know if it was yesterday or the night before like I had a little like session by myself last Tuesday I was a full-on mess like I literally couldn't even communicate because I just tears were just silently running down my face and anytime I tried to think about talking words I couldn't and so I was like in a call with Wesley but I had to type everything to him so yeah, it's a good time, but I'm going to try to rally and I'm going to try to do my daily data share and I want to try to get to sleep kind of early because last Tuesday, as I just mentioned, which is our date night, I was a mess. So I'm hoping tomorrow, I'm hoping to get to sleep relatively early tonight. It's like 20 to 2, so, um, so I don't have to sleep and I'm hoping to get like all the work I want to get done, done by the time I eat dinner and then... After that, I'm hoping that we can just like play a game or watch some Grey's Anatomy or something, but because we need time together, but it's hard because, you know, like I'm very busy. He's got the littles and work and he's also busy with streaming and stuff. And, you know, yeah, anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. I feel a little bit better about talking about it, so that's good. But yeah. Alrighty. Well, I'm up later than I intend it to be, but... I was just trying to like work through my list of stuff to do tomorrow and scheduling YouTube videos because the Steam Next Fest thing has kind of, it's been great. I've had access to three early release demos, which has been awesome, but trying to get that content made and up before Steam Fest starts has been a little bit hard. The one that I recorded today, Echoes of Plum Grove, is the last one I need to scooch in, um, and so if I can edit it after work then I can get it scheduled I think I decided wait I figured it out shoot I don't remember it's in my calendar I put it all in my calendar Sunday Monday I think because it's two part now I don't know now I'm like what <laughs> it's a good bit of bit 
This is Google Calendar, guys. Google Calendar. Oh, okay, yeah, so I'm moving the Moonlight Peaks demo, which was supposed to be on Friday, to Wednesday, and then we're gonna go Friday, Saturday with Echoes of Plum Grove. And then there's another game that just came out called Cauldron Kids, which looks super cute. I'm really excited to play it. I picked it up. Um, it says it's a short one, so I'm thinking it should be like a couple of And then I'm gonna try to squeeze that in maybe like Monday, Sunday, Monday. I don't know. I'll have to record and then edit it in time. So we'll see. <sighs> Fun times. Anyways, um, I need to get ready for bed. So I'm gonna do that. Thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see ya in the next one. Subscribe! Bye!